Hey cruisers, each year it seems our travel style morphs a bit, and these past six months have been no exception. Cruise travel has changed in many ways, and as a result, some of our travel preferences have too. While there are still lots of tried and true favorites and essentials we love to pack on our cruises like Santa hands, magnetic hooks to use on metal walls, and my trusty passport holder, <laughs> there are some new to us products we're loving too. Now we'll link to everything in the description of this video to make it easy to find. So sit back and enjoy as we peel back the curtain on our Amazon cart and share our latest and greatest discoveries. Now the number one selling item this year in our Amazon store has been without a doubt this non-surge power strip with three AC outlets, three standard USB plugs, and a bonus USB-C charging port. They thought of everything with this thing. We still love USB hubs, but since we started traveling more and more with our laptops, we found we needed more AC outlets, and this one did the trick. What my husband loves about this power strip is the right angle flat plug. If you know, you know. <laughs> now you know it wouldn't be Cruise Tips TV if we didn't talk about my favorite travel organization hack, packing cubes. You can love them or leave them, but I am a packing cube super fan. Despite the fact that my packing cube storage bin is overflowing, I felt the urge to invest in a new set, and this adorable six-piece flamingo print called my name for months before I bought it. I love the price point and the fact that the set comes with a shoe bag and a small laundry bag. So handy. And of course, there are other colors and styles available too. You don't have to get the flamingos. <laughs> but not everything needs to be tucked inside a packing cube. Earlier this year, I stumbled upon this set of 15 stylish makeup and accessory bags. The name is a bit misleading though. They hold everything from pens and highlighters to spare hair bands and bobby pins. They come in cute styles like boho and chic, and they're meant to contain smaller items. I use them to keep my purse tidy and to store things like hand sanitizing wipes, pens that could leak in my purse, and makeup brushes. Best part, they're reusable. Oh, and just be sure not to try to use these as your TSA liquid bags at the airport. That's not what they're designed for. Pivoting a bit to health and wellness for this next item, I am loving immune support vitamins lately. The whole family enjoys them before, during, and after our cruises, and they give us a little added peace of mind that we're supporting our natural immunity. Let's talk about sunscreen for a minute. Supergoop sunscreen actually made its way into our life in 2021 when we had an unfortunate incident with some white, sticky sunscreen in the Bahamas. That white residue is a bad beat, and we vowed never again to apply sunscreen that made us look like we were covered in zinc oxide from a cheesy 80s movie. Enter Supergoop. It's pricey, but it glides on your face like a dream, and it doesn't leave a bit of residue on your skin. While we're using Super Goop on our face, it's a bit pricey for full body use, so we've been experimenting with Sun Bum products. We love the retro tropical sunscreen smell, and their higher SPF sprays have been a favorite for the whole family. They even make an SPF 15 tanning oil that's great if you're looking for a lower SPF. Now, as carry-on bags go, my tried-and-true Mia Tui Jenny bag has earned a lot of miles. I still love it, but I was looking for a soft-sided alternative with a little less weight for short trips or solo flights where I wanted to lighten my load, but it still had to have a sleeve on the back side to place the bag over my rolling luggage handle. This blush pink quilted overnight bag checks all the boxes and has the requisite trolley sleeve I love. Plus, it has some added features, too, one of which is space for my laptop, a necessity for business travel and blogging. It also comes in black if you're not into the blush color or if you're worried about stains. This olive green version from the same brand is also lightweight, stylish, and easy to match with lots of different types of luggage. Now, the same brand who makes the Weekender carry-on we just showed you created a nice toiletry bag and a jewelry roll, which I've worked into my rotation. The jewelry roll is particularly appealing to me because it has a special place to put my rings, as well as an anti-tangle design for necklaces. Of course, there's a handy pouch for miscellaneous jewelry, too. They even have a mini jewelry roll, smaller one, for shorter trips. 
Now the toiletry bag I'm about to share is a tad on the larger side, but it can double as a stateroom accessory holder too. It has a handy hook for hanging in the closet, towel rack, or back of your cruise bathroom door. I don't even really bother with bags without hooks anymore, and I find this bag to be perfect for longer cruises or when I'm packing extra bulky items like full-size sunscreen, for example. Now, I cannot remember a cruise season, y'all, where I've heard more of our subscribers and readers share with me that they are headed to Alaska. So this final tip is for our last frontier bound friends. Well, this tip's for every cruiser, but Alaska itineraries really call for this next item. After several cruises to Alaska, there's a one essential we'll never leave behind. And trust me, we learned the hard way. Yep, binoculars. This compact travel friendly investment will ensure you don't miss a waterfall, a wildlife spotting, or a glacier calving. Now, if you're a die hard fan of my old school combo, the passport nerd wallet and the badge holder turned vaccine card protector, then you don't need this next item. But if you're a traveler who prefers to keep your passport tucked away, this passport vaccine card combo is trending among cruisers and it's super handy during cruise check-in. Comes in a myriad of colors and you feel kind of fancy flashing this puppy on embarkation day. Just saying. This one has served me well on my solo travels when I'm managing just my passport and vaccine card. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this 2022 travel products refresh. Everything we've shown you today is in the description of this video, as well as some bonus items like the sail away bag and the cute Bon Voyage hat you see behind me. We want to know what items you are buying for your cruises this year. Have your packing patterns changed since cruising resumed? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you on the high seas.